on your handle is the first time I ever saw the term um, meme art. So it's like memes. Meme <laughs> art. <laughs> Welcome to the show. I am really excited to have a talent house celebrity, basically. Her name is Rue. She is a TikTok master, I would say, because she has accumulated up to 2 million followers. That's that's something that I think a lot of us artists would really want to be able to do. So it's, it's really cool to have you on the show. Like, how did you start posting videos on TikTok and how has that evolved with time? I think it's actually pretty funny. Like, I started out thinking I wanted to make, like, really, really cute aesthetic art that people just look at and be like, oh, it's so pretty. I love it so much. But now it's just, like, completely on the other spectrum of that. Right. I think it's because I really just experimented and tried different things and see what I liked and what I didn't like. A lot of things that I wanted to watch was, like, funny art, and I realized that at that time, not many people made like really like hilarious art. Most of it was just pretty serious, like about like realism and or like expressing deep emotions. And I just wanted to have something that's like chill and entertaining. And so I just made what I wanted to see. And essentially that's how I ended up with what I have now. Oh my goodness, that's that's amazing. I, I've talked to a few artists that have actually mentioned that, that they said, you know, how do they start posting on socials? And it's basically, you know, they started posting what they want to see. And, 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 and honestly, that's the best thing you can do. Like, just post what you want to see and it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to generate some uh, following, some views. I, I think that's brilliant. Thank you. I feel like at least if a couple people also enjoy what you do, it's most likely going to be like successful. But I feel like most of it just came from like what I just wanted to do. Like you said, if a few people like what you did, that's going to motivate you to keep doing more of that stuff. Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what was the first video that you would say blew up? Like you said, uh, oh my goodness, this is getting crazy amount of views. Like what was one of those videos? The first video that marked like the whole like that, that helped me like transition into that style was there was this um, trend going around called like the perfect face template. It was originally from YouTube, but then I started seeing people doing it on celebrities. And I was like, oh, what if I do it on Patrick or Squidward? <laughs> I know that template was like meant for people. I was like, oh, what if I just do it on cartoon characters? Yeah. I just tried it thinking it was for fun and like before I started drawing I was like oh this is gonna be a disaster but I'm gonna just <laughs> it and see what happens and I ended up getting pretty popular and getting a lot of views and people really liked it so I just kept doing that just like morphing people's faces into weird stuff <laughs> yeah yeah I think it's just something I thought was always missing because people were always so serious and I just didn't like that you know like whenever i was younger in art class we would always like okay here's like a chair like draw the chair draw how you see it and i just like thought i was like kind of boring and sad like <laughs> just sitting in art class for like six hours a day you kind of get bored of it so you're like oh, i'm just gonna draw a face on the chair like i don't care anymore you know? <laughs> then like you would be like oh my god what did you do you have made it such a beautiful drawing but you ruined it <laughs> but uh, that is more entertaining. I, I love I love that story. Um, I think I, on your on your handle is the first time I ever saw the term um, meme art. So it's like memes. Meme <laughs> art. <laughs> I feel like it's it's just like it's pretty like creepy. Like I don't know. I guess I just like made up the term because I just felt like it just helped describe it better. You know. Right. It's a, it's a term that you should definitely coin and be proud of because uh, it led to so many followers, so many views. Yeah. The, the Instagram algorithm is what actually fed us uh, your video. And it, it was actually, I remember it was the rock emoji. So um, you kind of created an emoji um, from uh, uh, Dwayne Johnson, the rock. And, it, and I thought it was funny. Like I saw it, I was like, we gotta share this. This is freaking amazing. And then, you know, there was one weekend when that video went viral on our platforms. It went, you know, 5 million, 10 million, then 15 million. So like on behalf of Town House, we wanna congratulate you for amazing work. You know, it caught the attention of a lot of people. Oh, thank you so much. Is that what you do? Do you pay attention to pop culture? Um, how do you, kind of choose the, the the next subject in, in your videos? So I basically look at like what's trending and what is memeable, you know, like 
like how can I make this more funny like I always think about that and I always ask like what do other people want to see and what do I want to see and how can this be more like cursed you know like how can I make it cursed and hilarious you know like the more cursed it is I feel like the better it is and that's like the philosophy I just go by <laughs> I also like the fact that you are not afraid to poke fun of yourself so it's like you know <laughs> you you receive as much as you give in a sense and I've seen yeah. some of the videos that you do it's it's it's, it's really cool so you, you kind of poke fun of yourself how, how did you end up doing that is that something that you felt well I'm making fun of people so maybe I should do that with myself or or did you just feel like Hey, time to make fun of myself today. <laughs> I didn't think of it like that, but um, I did feel like because people were like, oh, you're just like photoshopping other people. Like, why don't you do it yourself? People kind of got mad at it. So I was like, oh, like, it's kind of just a joke. I don't really care that much. So I'll just like do it on myself to show that it's really all just a joke. It's just supposed to something you're laugh at. It's not that deep, you know, like, like people like look too much into it, you know, like right. it's not supposed to something you're gonna look too much into. It's just something you look at, have a laugh about it and that's it. Uh, I want to talk about your 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 handle name, Cat Dog Fatness. It, it, you have the domain name, you have the handles all over the place. How did you come up with that? Um, what does it mean to you? So it's actually like pretty special in my heart. Like people always ask for like, why why do you have this name? It's nothing related to what you do, but I think it's just iconic in a sense. I put a lot of Minecraft, and it was like my username everywhere. And it's actually my stuffed animals. Like cat doesn't actually mean an actual cat. I mean it's short for caterpillar, and dog is just. Yeah, it's about my stuffed animal dog, my stuffed animal caterpillar. And I both thought they were like hella dummy thick and fluffy. And that's why the fatness was at the end. <laughs> really cool that you went out and, and you ended up uh, using a name that means a lot to your beginnings. You know, like uh, from yeah. a long time ago. That's awesome. Stay humble to my roots. <laughs> NGR Minecraft forms. Cat dog fatness. I'm sure no one's going to forget that after watching this. <laughs> 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 you have definitely found a formula for success in vertical videos. Do you have any like advice to artists that are trying to figure out like, you know, what can I do? One thing to know about social media is probably like 90% of the advice out there like publicly available on like YouTube pertaining specifically to social media is actually quite BS. And it's like <laughs> It's just like speculative theory. So I wouldn't listen to any of that, but instead probably look into things that appeal to like psychology and read about human psychology and what appeals to people, what makes people think, what makes people act and just read more about more like psychological aspects of it because it's more like psychology than you think it is. That's amazing insight. I, I swear, like, that's so good. Like, you're a person that does a mini art, but you have just <laughs> blown me away with Thank how you. profound you got. And it's so true. Like, absolutely, everything you're saying. Um, and I think definitely every artist should kind of take note. Really listen to your heart, kind of do some research on what appeals to others. Art is about connecting with other people. And this is what this show is all about. And, and again, pleasure having you here. I, I feel like we could talk for hours. You're, you're so insightful and I can see why you're successful. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me here. Definitely a friend of Talent House and uh, we're going to be supporting you all the way. Thank you so much. I appreciate everything you've done.